All right, welcome back to Spellweaver. This is a free-to-play card game on Steam. And <clears throat> the last episode, I played the basic tutorial. Now they want me to play the combat tutorial. And once I complete this, I reward for completing all missions, which I guess that means that, 25,000 gold. Now, I haven't been able to get back to the menu or the main screen yet because I've been stuck in this tutorial mode. So let's get this going, get past it so we can explore the main menu, see what else this game has. I am Gale, and I will tell you the secrets of winning the combat. With speed and cunning, you can easily win every battle. Let me show you. Play the Elf Scout. Okay, where's the Elf Scout? There it is. Okay, so I need one. I've got one Mana Crystal, and I need one uh, green... Um, what's it called? Nature, of course. So I'm going to go one Nature level. And that will allow me to play the Elf Scout. Okay, I cannot fight with this turn. Our Elf Scout is ready to attack now. <clears throat> Infected Savior. See, he's got a speed of three. I have a speed of four, which means I'm okay to attack. <clears throat> There's no point in attacking the Infected Survivor. We'll lose the Scout, and Nephros will get a zombie. And then when he dies... Uh, summon a zombie onto the field. Deal damage to Nephros, which is the... Uh, and play the Elf Warrior. You can always trust an Elf Warrior. Okay, so in this game, you get to choose uh, who you attack. So the Elf Warrior requires two, mo two mana in one level. So I'm going to play a Shrine and do the mana. Plus, I get to draw a card, which ended up being another shrine. So let's play the Elf Warrior. And it wanted me to do this. Oops. You drag it. Okay, and it attacks. Now, it seems like if you declare an attack, I don't know if he could have blocked. No, he couldn't because my speed was quicker. He couldn't block because it's slower. Oh, if I would just read. Everything is slower than an elf scout. I was going to say that is the fastest I've seen for arrows. Okay, that's all I can do. Uh, the elf warrior. The two, two. Okay, so he... Uh, Nefaro used his hero skill to reduce the scout's speed and is now able to attack it. Hurry, save the scout. Okay. So how did he use an ability? I don't know how to... Hero skill. Each hero starts the game with one skill. You can activate hero skills outside combat on your turn. Each skill has a specific level required mana cost. So, let's see. Can... Swift can attack on the turn it enters the field. Creatures you play or play this turn are swift. Uh, but it needs four turns, I guess. I don't know what the four is. Okay. There's no indication. Okay. So how does it expect me... Locked in combat. A creature can no longer... Uh, a creature is locked and can no longer be used as a blocker. Uh, so what is it... Ex does it ex expect me to do this? There are other ways to be fast in combat. Ambushing Sharpshooter knows two of these ways. Uh, ambushing Sharpshooter. Ranged and Swift. Range deals damage before non-ranged creatures. That's like first strike. Swift can attack on the turn it enters the field. So that's like uh, haste. Oh, <laughs> ranged, okay. 
destroy both enemy creatures without losing any of our elves. Okay, so I think it wants me to bring him out, which I need one more mana. Let's do that and choose the mana and the card. Okay. Ambushing Sharpshooter. Let's bring it out. Now I can use that this turn. So let's do... Uh, he would do his damage first. No, I wasn't ready yet. Oh, okay. And that would kill that one. And let's go ahead and send him over to do one point. How's that? <clears throat> now you see it. With superior speed and tactics, you're winning every fight. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Everybody heals. They're all asleep. Zombie Legionnaire. Summoned creatures and not real cards. They disappear when they leave the field. Huh. So do I... So I guess I just take the damage, right? Declare final block. Um... Or, yeah, because I don't want to waste my warrior. Yep, let's just let it... Okay, then it disappears. I don't get... Now's the perfect time to try out your hero skill. Native terrain. Creatures you play or played this turn are swift. Okay. Each hero has a skill level... Uh, okay. Each hero skill has a level requirement. I'm distracted. I, I, I don't have a problem reading. I'm just looking at things. Uh, each hero skill has a level requirement, mana cost, and recharge time. That's the recharge time. That's the four. We could do wonders with two swift brothers in arms. Okay. Get them for me. Okay, so let's click on this okay what does that do that lets me bring out oh I need one more level okay now I can bring them out and it should give them yeah should give them haste attack insatiable ghoul with more than one creature to kill it is that this? No, that's this one. It will deal its da damage back to its attackers in the order of the attacks. Two decay cards. At the start of your turn, put a creature card from your graveyard on the bottom of your deck. If you can't, decay three cards and exhaust. Two decay cards, put them from the top of your deck into your graveyard. Some actions exhaust a card. Okay, cards ready again so I, I need to attack it with more than one creature so I'm gonna attack with okay can you kill both enemy creatures losing only your brothers in arms it's not easy but I bet you can do it okay uh, without losing any thing other than them Okay, so we got that going. And this. And then that will attack that. I'll send him over there. I think that's what they want. Killed him, did one, killed him, and he did one. Alright. With our cunning warriors, we have complete control over the battle. Defeating Nefaros is only a matter of time. Congratulations, you completed the combat tutorial!
victory. Okay, thank you for completing the tutorial. So let me claim my reward, which was 25,000 gold. Okay, choose your starter deck. Click on a capital for details. Okay, so there's six of them. <clears throat> what is this? Okay, corruption. Uh, undead hordes. Click deck for more info. You will earn a new starter deck when you reach level five. So the aspect is corruption. <clears throat> Deplete the opponent's cards, creatures, and life while growing your undead army. Uh, powers are in weakening, draining, discarding, generally making your opponent's life miserable. The undead may be slow, but they're hard to hit. While they do, you force the enemy. <clears throat> so this shows all the cards. Okay, I'm not going to go through those. Uh, let's see. Creatures, spells, shrines... Okay, so skill level is moderate. So let's close that. Let's see what this one is. Order an Angelic Legions. Amass an army of coefficient soldiers. So this is order. Uh, the angels come into the field to win the game. The order specializes in creature buffs, gaining life, and defensive spells. And it comes with all those. Okay, I'm not too concerned with that. And they would pull off a quick win while also having powerful cards. The deck offers a good balance. <clears throat> okay. That was order. What was this one? Corruption. Okay, this one is power. Gradually build up... Oh, no, wisdom. Gradually build up your resource and gain advantage where you're ready to capitalize on it. The Wisdom uh, uh, provides easy access to new cards, levels, energy, and helps you cards from... So this is pretty much blue. Disable spells. Well, yeah. So this is the blue. Yeah. I really don't like blue when it comes to magic. I bet this is green. So this is nature. Uh, excel on the battlefield with speed, surprise attacks, clear the path for your attacks by returning creatures back to whence they came. Uh, fast creatures, spell artifact destruction, dominate combat with a never ending swarm. Okay, got it. This will be the red. Oops. Rage. Uh, damage they can handle the rage massive amounts of damage it's fast it's also good at breaking things rushing the battle goblins do lots of damage okay so that's red vampiric implants this is dominion sacrifice anything and anyone for the sake of achieving victory use the most powerful spells and creatures in the game but know the cost Dominion specializes in creature destruction and gaining mana quickly. Use bio-implanted artifacts to dominate the board. Uh, it's moderate. You know, I really like green in magic. I like coming out with all the creatures, making the little swarms. I like the buffs, the he uh Yeah, I might do this one. Plus, I get another starter deck when I reach level 5. Um, spell destruction, I do like that. Okay, clear the... You know what? I think I'm going to choose this one. Select this deck. Spellweaver starter deck. Yay for me! I am a disciple. I have 30,000 gold. No crystals. Main menu. Okay, let's, uh, wait. How do I go back? Okay, tutorial. That's what I just did. Achievements. None. Uh, help and resources. A quick battle, trials, decks, marketplace, collection. 
What decks do I have? Obviously, uh, that. Elven Sanctuary. Ooh. Big one. What is this? Tournament. Okay. Click to close the big one. Tournament. Okay, I'm not interested in that. Friends. I don't have any friends. Okay, so I could... Oops, I didn't mean to create a new deck. Uh, go back. Elven Vengeance. Click to change. Ooh. Oh, they cost crystals. Yeah, they've got different sleeves you can buy usually in these games now. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with that one. How about that? Okay. All right, so there's nothing, there's nothing I can do right now. I just don't have any extra cards. Uh, my collection. You have no packs in your collection. These are my cards. Shows how many I have of each. Uh, I have no favorites. Crafting. Ah, it's like Hearthstone. You can probably uh, uh, it tells you what it takes to make them, I guess. I don't know. Um... Now, as far as this goes, where is the rarity? Let's let's show. Okay, I have no. Uh, okay, let's just do all cards. <clears throat> uh, so I've I have one rare. How do you know if it's rare? I mean, epic. Okay, rare cards are. Let's let's show both epic and rare. Let's show on commons. Okay, what's the difference? How can you tell the little s symbol right here? Of course, that's epic. That's kind of like the Planeswalkers, I suppose. The rare cards have the little gold symbol in the lower right of the picture. Uncommons have silver. Commons have this just a gray color. Okay, so that tells you their rarity. Do it by alph alphabetical order. Select all. Of course, I just have... I don't have any other aspects. I just have nature. Okay. And the marketplace. So let's see what you can buy. Kickstart your game with a starter pack. This new player offer ends in nine days. So for $20, is this, is this the bundle that you get? Six normal packs, three random heroes, and unlock two starter decks of your choice. So here you can buy crystals, you can buy gold. Uh, here we go, 5,000 gets a small pack. What does that mean? Five cards per pack, okay. Normal pack, uh, seven common, eight, nine, ten cards per pack. Or you can buy a ticket. Used to okay. I'm not interested in tournaments. What do we have here? <clears throat> the good pack only contains cards from the good aspects, <laughs> only bad cards. Never get an excess, cop excess copy of card unless you've collected all cards. Follows the same rarity but offers a double chance of getting an epic card. So, does that mean you never get copy doubles on that? That's pretty good. Okay. Or a box. Wow. What does this mean? 120. Contains 12 normal packs. Wow. Wow. This has 24 packs of cards. Card backs. Here's where you can buy your sleeves. Whatever the card backs. Or you can go for packages, $60, $125, a six-month 
get items worth more than with the six month subscription package. So what comes with a subscription? That's pretty strange. Maybe you get so many packs <clears throat> a week or something or a month. I mean, uh, tickets to do tournaments. Let's see how much crystals are. Because if I was interested in a box for a thousand crystals, it would cost me twenty dollars because I couldn't. Of course, they, they got it figured out. They know <clears throat> what, how many crystals to put in a box. So you can't just buy this. You have to buy the bigger one for your thousand crystals. Then you got seven fifty extra, which probably isn't enough to buy anything. Anyway, <clears throat> it's fine. I'm not complaining. This is a free-to-play game. <clears throat> That's how they make their money. Uh, click for details. Okay, 40000 to unlock. So, are there any free... Okay, so I get it here. Trials. Okay, whatever. Quick Battle. A friendly game. Play against the AI. Please select the game type. Okay, so this is where you do a friendly battle. All right, that's it. Um, I think I've explored this game. Now all that's left is just to get in and start playing some games. And I'm assuming you earn some money, maybe, as you... Uh, play, I hope. I do want to see one thing, though. Feature uh, essentials. Uh, was there somewhere? Oh, where were the, uh, this? So 5,000. So I've got 30,000. So I could buy, I wouldn't mess with a small pack. So I could actually buy a pack of 10 cards. Oh, that's what that means. That's how many cards you get. Four cards in a small pack. Ugh. Okay. Uh, this is Spellweaver. I'm going to get in here. I'll play a, a battle or two just to see how it goes uh, outside of the tutorial. Uh, but for now, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.